like my 90s glam super simple makeup routine <laughs> like the girls back then didn't do much and i love that about the 90s i'm obsessed about that Oh, this video is very inspired by Vogue. I freaking love the Vogue Beauty Secrets videos. So I wanted to make my own when I have my robe on. It's not right if the robe ain't on. So you might notice this cute little star sticker on my face. So the sticker is a pimple patch. I wore the pimple patch overnight. I'm going to take it off and we're going to begin our skincare. Ouch. Notice it's already gone. Like, that's why I love those pimple patches. I will literally wear them to work. And they just think it's this cute little sticker. I love it. First, I use First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. We're going to get a nice lather in our hands first. And then you go to your face. These are my favorite two toners right at the moment. This one's an Old Faithful. If you grew up in a black household, y'all had this in some form. Or my First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I really like to use these a lot. So I noticed like with skincare or like even hair care, if you stay with the same line, all the products work together. So I think I'm gonna use this one today. So yeah, face is pretty clean. One thing about me, I have super, super duper, uber, trooper dry skin. <laughs> so I'm going to go on with two moisturizers. So this first one is First Aid Beauty again, um, the Ultra Repair Firming Collagen Cream. So I'm 25 and they say when you turn 25 or about that age is when you want to start incorporating collagen into your skincare routine because your body just stops producing as much. So told you my skin super dry, so I'm going in with this Pond's. Moisturizer, super affordable, but it just does something for me. So, our skincare is complete. But you see the glow, you see it, you see it, you see it. All right, next we're about to get into our skin or our makeup. So, I like super natural makeup. I don't use foundations or anything like that. I'm super bad at taking my makeup off at nighttime. So I'm gonna go with this primer. I make sure that there's a thick layer of something in between my skin and the makeup. But I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna do my best to take it off tonight. So this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It reminds me of Elmer's glue. <laughs> I don't use foundation, so I immediately go into or concealer. I still use the LA Pro Girl Old Faithful Concealer because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I have the NARS one because I thought I was going to try this again because it's the very first concealer I ever had in my life when I was younger. But it was too thick. Like, I couldn't blend it out. I don't know if it was me or like what it was, but it felt too thick. I couldn't blend it. It was really pissing me off. <laughs> this is the color Medium Beige. Also, gotta get the mustache. Can't make the boys mad that we can grow on and I can't. Just blend this out with my beauty blender. My friend always talks about like, you have to be camera ready at all times. So, when I go out, I put makeup on so I don't regret it. Cause there's been a lot of times where I'm like, dang, I should put makeup on. But every time I do it, it's very natural, very light. You can barely tell. I go for the 90s glam look. Oh, maybe I should have said that. Like, my 90s glam, super simple makeup routine. <laughs> like, the girls back then didn't do much, and I love that about the 90s. I'm obsessed about that. So we're going to do our brows. I love my eyebrows now. Like, I remember... <laughs> I remember arching my eyebrows for the first time and getting them thin and I looked like <laughs> I will never do that again <laughs> oh my god if I find a picture I'll insert it because it's so funny I look kind of crazy so I'm using the pencil from um, Pink Lips Cosmetics and you can get this at your local Target Target and it's black owned. Target, they sell lip glosses, lip liners, things like that. Pink Lips Cosmetics. I'm just gonna put the Sam Concealer underneath my eyebrows. Shape them a little bit. Okay. 
This right eyebrow is eating. Like, come on now. Come on, eyebrow. Okay. That eats for sure. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. I'm going to blend that on my finger. This is my color at this point because it's summertime. I'm getting donka. Donka. Guys, this is my first YouTube video in a year. In not a year, in deck. In a, lo a lot of years. <laughs> it's been a long time since college. I graduated college in 2020. It's 2023. I keep getting told that I look like Halle Bailey. Little Mermaid, especially with my twist. Like I don't see it. I mean, she's stunning. I don't see it. Do I look like her? Let me know in the comments if I look like Halle Bailey. I don't think I do. Then I get Karuchi a lot too. Well, they say Chris Brown's girl ex-girlfriend. Like she, that, they broke up so long ago. Like I'm at, okay, not the point. But I get Karuchi or Halle Bailey. I'm going to use blush. And you're probably wondering why I'm doing the blush before I do my setting powder, but it's a cream. And I don't want it to ruin my blush. Like, you don't want to make it splotchy. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty in the color Banana. And I'm going to hit my eyebrows with some brow gel. Some setting spray. So Morphe setting spray is my favorite, 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 favorite setting spray because it's a dewy finish. So like I said, I have super dry skin. So this is a dewy finish so my skin won't be super dry. I can always, yeah. to do our lips. I love to do my lip liner. You can't see. Alright, so this is just random drugstore lip pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty hot chocolate, hot cocoa. Hot chocolate. What is it? Oh, hot chocolate. Like lit. It's lit. Hot chocolate. I love this duo. That's about it. I'm going to add some more blush. The key to good makeup is it wanting them to look at your eyes because the eyes, I don't know what to sound about them, you know? But that is it. Hold on, time. Well, that is the look. So that is the skincare and everyday makeup routine. I love the lip, let's talk about it. It's giving Brad's doll. But maybe next time this will be a real Vogue video. I remember the first time I ever seen a Vogue magazine was when we moved houses and like somebody had a subscription. So like they were, we were still getting their, ma their mail for a little bit. And I was like, wow, obsessed. So maybe one day this will be a real Vogue video. One can hope. <laughs> but I'll see you later in the next video.